I switch bitches like dirty drugs. If if this bitch don't do nothing in like two hours, then I'ma change bitches. You feel me? ATM. Uh, ATM. Where, where'd you grow up? What neighborhood you from? Los Angeles, California, South Central. South Central. And uh, tell me about your childhood. You grew up with both your parents? Uh, actually, no. I grew up with my mom, though. No. You know, my mom was always around, and my uncles, as well as my great grandfather, he was a factor, too. He was a what? He was a factor as far oh, as I my see. family, yeah. Got it. And uh, how was your childhood? It was, uh, childhood was rough, you feel me? I grew up without my dad around, so my uncles always play father, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, and they had a whole bunch of, go- they had a whole bunch going on, so. You know what I'm saying? My mom was a tough cookie too, so you feel me? My mom was trying to be just like her brothers and shit, so it was just, it was always rough coming up. You know, my childhood was always rough. Yeah. Any abuse, anything like that? Um, my mom used to, uh, my mom used to bring these, you know, these random guys in who she liked and things like that, you know, from different neighborhoods of Los Angeles, California, you know what I'm saying? Some was drug heads and things like that. So they used to put their hands on my mom, you know what I'm saying? This one guy broke my mom's jaw. So, you know what I'm saying? As a child coming up, I was always helping my mom fight these niggas off, you feel me? So that's where I, I, I had to be a man fast at a young age, so. You feel me? That's what led up to here right now. Yeah. What age were you when you went on your own? When I, when I left? When you kind of moved out? Uh, I got kicked out the house when I was 14 because I got caught with uh, two guns, two 40s, the same kind, you feel me? So my mom felt like I was selling guns or some shit, you feel me? So she kicked me out the house at 14. but. Before then, I was I, I, I put a lot on my mom though, so you know what I'm saying. I don't blame her. Yeah. What did you do for money at that point? What did I do for money? I um, started stealing. I started stealing cell phones, but I always had it in the back of my mind. Like my uncles is pimps. You feel me? My mom was trying to do that shit, so. I, that's what I always wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to be a dope dealer and a pimp. You know what I'm saying? That was like the things I wanted to do. My uncles was always coming in with different bitches. You know what I'm saying? All this jewelry and you know what I'm saying? All of this, everything, all of these cars. And so I felt like that's what I wanted to do, but I didn't know how yet. So I started stealing cell phones and selling the cell phones to people. You know what I'm saying? And then I started selling dope. You feel me? And then I landed me my first bitch. You know what I'm saying? So after I got my first bitch, it was over. I took off from there. You feel me? What age was that? I was, uh, what, 15? This was like the next year. You feel me? I was only in the streets like 12 months. Not even 12 months, 10 months, something like that, before I started, before I got cracking. You feel me? Like, period. And how many girls do you have today? Right now, I got 50 toes. And what kind of girls do you have? All, all African American or white, Hispanic? I got an Asian right now. I got three black girls. I got an Asian, three black girls, and I got the white girl. Yeah. And so the arrangement is they go out, they make money, and they give you everything. Everything. Mm. And what do you get? What do they get in, in exchange? Uh, well, the fact of the matter is, when you're dealing with prostitutes, they don't know what to do with their money, you feel me? So what they want is protection, you feel me? They want somebody to be able to protect them just in case they get into something in these streets, you feel me? As well as they need somebody that know what, he, that know what to do with the money. So if, if, if a female come across a guy that that's capable of protection as well as they know what, know how to manage the money, you know what I'm saying? For example, they got other hustles besides that, you feel me? So they don't they don't depend on pimping, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, if he sell dope, he sell weed, he does this, he does that, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, they can fuck with you. So 
that's 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 really what it's about. So yeah, they give me all the money, you know what I'm saying, and I know what to do with the money. I go flip some packs or whatever. I tell you, feel me? I get us an apartment, a place to stay, vehicles, you know what I'm saying? Like everything we need. Are they addicted to drugs? Some are. Some are. The majority of them are. I try. I try. And, I try. I try and stay away from the drug heads because it's a lot of problems. You feel me in situations, and I'm human, so it's like. Do you supply them with the drugs? Me, yeah, of course. Yeah. I got to. Yeah. Uh, got to. They gonna fag off if you don't. If you ain't supplying the drugs, they gonna go get it from somebody else. So. And how old are you? Right now, thirty. You're thirty. Yeah. So you've been doing this since you're. Half your life? Since I, yep. Have you done prison time? Yeah, I did four years in prison. What for? Pimping and pandering. They dropped pimping and pandering down to human trafficking, which carries life. So I, my original term was 30 to life. So I had to get lawyers and spend all, you know, spend all my money on lawyers and get, get pimping and pandering. No, get human trafficking down. First, they were saying they got me on camera at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. They got a female giving me $2,700 at the Bellagio, so I'm pimping. So in Vegas, the rules and regulations are they don't hit you with pimping and pandering because you're going to get right out. So they hit you with human trafficking. So you know what I'm saying? Long story short, you know what I'm saying? The bitch kept coming like, yeah, that's family and all of that. He moved from California to Vegas, so he needed move-in money and all of that. We as people, so I was able to beat that. But I got called with crystal meth. When they raided through apartments looking for me, I got called with crystal meth, as well as I got into an altercation with uh, a Las Vegas crib. You know what I'm saying? It was my birthday. We was going up. We was doing crystal meth, and... You know what I'm saying? I, uh, it, it was just, it was just crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? He took me for granted, and man, that shit got ugly. I grabbed the kitchen knife. We was already high on crystal meth, so it's like, you know, ain't nobody thinking. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I ended up doing the worst. By the grace of God, I didn't kill him, you know what I'm saying? But he ended up telling on me, and yeah, so the police came and raided the apartments, and they was, I was just fucked over, 30 to life, you feel me? Pimping and pandering, human trafficking, battery with the use of a deadly weapon, and substantial bodily harm, and possession of sales crystal meth. So with, with all of that, I spent, I spent, all the money I had, all the money my family had to get everything dropped down and for me to just do uh, uh, possession. Pos they, they even dropped my possession of sales to possession. You feel me? Because I told them I was using and all of this, man. So I damn near never came home. So I did 48 months, though. You feel me? Um, and do you have kids of your own? No, I don't got no kids yet. Okay. But see, I only make bitches walk the blade when they in trouble. Ain't no money walking the blade, you feel me? That's just for a, a, a new hoe bitch that wants some attention. Ain't nobody walking the blades no more, you feel me? A real pimp don't got no hoes on the blade. Every bitch on the blade is on dope, they weird, you know what I'm saying? The best thing to do is post ads, you feel me? So if you got a, like all my hoe bitches, they got tricks lined up that's going to Call, in calls, out calls, that's what's popping, you feel me? An in call is somebody who's gonna pull up on you. An out call is somebody who wants you to pull up on them, you feel me? So that's really where the money at. Cause when you doing when you post ads, now it's two hundred a condom, you feel me? When you got bitches walking the blade, they jumping in the car popping forty dollar dates, you feel me? That's disgusting, that's nasty. Now you bringing back infections and STDs in your camp and all of that shit. Now you not a responsible pimp, you feel me? So it's, it's levels to this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like it's real levels to this shit. Like you can, you can, you can be a reckless ass pimp or you can, ha you can be a, a classy pimp that got respect for yourself as well as your host and you can keep everybody clean so everybody can be fucking cause I know I'm fucking. I'm, I, I don't want a hoe around me that I ain't fucking. That's weird. That's, that's weird. Like, you feel me? Like, so if a bitch don't bring, if a, if a, 
if a bitch don't, my bitches nowadays, it's rare for my bitch not to bust a date because I post ads. You feel me? I get a room, we post ads, the phone ringing all night. So I make a bitch walk a blade if I'm mad at her. Make her walk the blade, no shoes on if I'm mad at her. You feel me? Like, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because bitches like to do shit and do little funny shit because this bitch made more than her this night. So she got a, a grudge and a vendetta on her. So this week, this week she was lazy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason why she was lazy, because she knows she can't beat, out beat this bitch. So it's just excuses. So that's the type of shit the pimp dealing with. Like, bitch, I see with my own eyes. You're not tired. You're not, you, that's not the case. You just, you know you can't beat her. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, my bitches post ads, so I don't really have to worry about them. You feel me? Yeah. Because, bitch, if I pay... $160 for a room, bitch. You better, somebody better make it back. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> somebody better make it back. What kind of what, what relationship do you have with the women that, that are working for you? Uh, I mean, do you use intimidation and force to. Yeah, some, yeah sometimes you got a gorilla pimp. You feel me? Sometimes you got to put your hands on a bitch and let a bitch know that you ain't gonna play with her. You know what I'm saying? Cause we all out here taking penitentiary chances for this shit. So bitch, you not finna play, you feel me? Like you be a fool to play games and you know what I'm saying? Be sitting in jail. So if that's what we gonna do and that's the role, that that's that's like more than a 50% chance of the role, then yeah, bitch don't play. You feel me? You gonna have to put your hands on a bitch. So it's like, the best things to do is to have you a white bitch, you feel me? If you have you a white bitch, or an Asian bitch, she, a bitch that's not black. If you have you a bitch that's not black, I promise you, you ain't gonna have to put your hands on her and she gonna bring you a little bit of more money. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with black bitches, African Americans, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to put your hands on them and intimidate them. And that's just because where we come from, you feel me? It's like, due to the circumstances and situations that I'm pimping you home in, I know you a real bitch and you know I'm a real nigga. So some shit, some shit a black man ain't gonna be, some shit a black man can't tell no black bitch, you feel me? Like, when you, you can tell a white bitch like, look, go walk the blade with no shoes on, bitch, you fucked up, you feel me? Give me your shoes, go stay down, you feel me? You can't, you, you can't, you can, you can do that with a black bitch, but you gonna have to put your hands on her first, you feel me? Because, yeah, they like, they like, it's, 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 it's crazy, man. You feel me? What's the most violent you've ever had to get with one of your girls? Uh, shit, wow. I used to be a, uh, it was me and two of my partners, you feel me? Uh, man, we had, we had a little thing going on, man. Renegade K, you feel me? So any bitch that was on our blaze, Renegade, and didn't have no work or no pimp, we used to uh, do some little shit to them, you feel me? Hey, I don't wanna uh, say too much and incriminate myself, but yeah, they used to, uh, yeah, for, uh, Long story I short. Wanna, I don't, don't want to get you in trouble. Yeah, long story short, yeah, man. We was guerrilla pimping, man. You feel me? A bitch would come up missing, you know what I'm saying? For a couple of days, a couple of weeks, whatever you want to call it. Is she going to come back correct? You know what I'm saying? We was dealing with dog kennels. We was dealing with cat food. We had a whole bunch of ways to get a bitch right. You feel me? Like, you can't walk our blades and you a renegade. You have to be paying somebody, bitch. You can't be out here selling pussy and you ain't paying nobody. You know what I'm saying? You can easily come up missing forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this, this shit real, so. Yeah, like burning bitches with cigarette butts, uh, uh, putting cigarettes out on bitches, uh, all type of shit, man. Pouring bleach on bitches, making bitches uh, bathe in bleach, bath water. Uh, Putting bitches in the shower, closing the door on them, turning the hot water in, making them call you daddy while the, while, they, while the hot water on. You feel me? And telling her, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, from now on, I'm daddy. That's what you call me. You know what I'm saying? While the hot water running on her and she's screaming and all that shit. You feel me? So you got to break their spirit. You feel me? Once their spirit is broke, then you capable of doing whatever with them. You know what I'm saying? That's real gorilla pimping. But it's levels to this shit. You feel me? That's beginner shit. After a while, when you make a name for yourself and all that, you ain't got to do that shit no more. But this shit real, man. I didn't, uh... 
Yeah, I done did some shit to some bitches, man, for sure. 